Lisa, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to share with you this mushroom fold it card by the Stamps of Life. It comes with this mushroom, which is the shape of an A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half, and it's shaped like a mushroom. You can either use it as the card base, or if you wanted to include this mushroom on an actual card, you can do that as well. And it also comes with another smaller mushroom too. So I'm gonna use this mushroom card. I wanna show you how to make this as an A2 size card. I also wanna show you another new product that's being released today, and this is the Gnomes to Stamp stamp set. And this st stamp set has three gnomes, and it has some sentiments, gnome sweet gnome, the gnomes made me do it. Hey, know me, you know me so well. And this set also has matching dies to go along with it. And I'm gonna incorporate a gnome onto my mushroom card. So to get started for my mushroom card, I am going to fold my card base and I'm just using a white card base, which this is the powdered sugar cardstock from the Stamps of Life. And I'm gonna take the largest die in the set. So you have the large die, which makes the card base, and then you have the layering piece die. So I'm gonna take this die and you can choose to have it open from the top or on the side. And I'm gonna choose to have mine open from the side. So I am going to put my mushroom so that the paper is immediately to the right of the die. And once I do that, I'm going to put some washi tape just to hold it in place and then run that through my die cut machine. Out of the die cut machine, you have your mushroom, which this is your actual card base. So when I open it up, it opens on the side. And notice that this mushroom is not completely round on the left side because I had that little piece sticking out um, from that cardstock. So I'm gonna take this piece again, same piece I just used to cut this, the largest die in the set, and I'm gonna die cut a layering piece to go on top of this which is also gonna be in the white cardstock. So now I have a perfectly rounded mushroom and that's gonna be my layering piece to go right on top of the card base. So what I'm gonna do is set these aside for a moment and then I'm gonna take this layering die and here you can choose to use some pattern paper. If you wanted to use um, pattern paper to die cut and make your mushroom have patterns on it or if you wanted to use solid color cardstock or a mix of both, it's really your preference. So I'm gonna use a piece of the strawberry cardstock and I'm gonna die cut the top part of the mushroom. So I'm gonna just, instead of wasting cardstock and doing the whole thing, cause I don't want the stem red, I'm just gonna bring it down and just die cut part of it. So that gives me this piece, which will be the background piece. And it also gives me all the little circle cutouts, but I don't want those in red. I want to use a pattern. Or here you can use another colored cardstock. It's really up to you. So I am gonna take this piece, and this is from the Hello Friend paper pad, and I'm gonna die cut that top part of the mushroom again to get those circles. So that gives me this piece, as well as all the little circles. So this piece you can save for another mushroom because it's that background cut out again. So if you wanted to do a different mushroom with this background and all of the solid red circles, you already have all of those that you can fill in. But I'm gonna set that aside because I wanna go with the solid red and then these green circles. But before I add these to my card base or my card layer, I'm gonna ink blend the edges of the circles as well as the strawberry cardstock. So I'm gonna use strawberry ink to ink blend the red, and I'm gonna use the kiwi ink to ink blend the polka dots. But before I do any ink blending, because I wanna do it all at one time, I'm gonna take this piece of pattern paper. I don't know what um, paper pad it was from, but it has the diamond shape and it is the ginger snap color. And I'm just gonna die cut the bottom for the stem. So now I'm gonna go ahead and ink blend using my Kiwi ink. This one is getting the strawberry ink. And then this one is getting the ginger snap. So now I'm gonna just start putting this together. Now 
Next, I used a border die and I die cut a piece of green pattern paper and I cut this down so that it measures four and a quarter inches going this way. And this paper is from the Dream Collection and this is gonna just go right towards the bottom of this mushroom. But before I adhere that, I'm gonna be using this stamp set from the Gnomes to stamp and I am going to stamp out on the stem of this mushroom the gnome sweet gnome and I want to make sure before I adhere this that I have enough room to stamp that out because I don't want to adhere this too far up and then there not be enough room to put the sentiment in there so I'm gonna go ahead and first of all I think I better go ahead and use my misty with this because I I don't want to make any mistakes in stamping. So I'm going to position that towards the top, centering it. And I just want to see how that's going to look. I think that'll be fine. So I'm going to get some ink. I'm going to be using the black ink. This is the licorice ink. So ink that up, stamp that down, and that looks perfect. And then I'll go ahead and I'm going to put this towards the bottom. So I'm going, instead of putting ink on this piece, because I'm not going to exactly know how much I need, I'm just going to put some ink here at the bottom of the mushroom and then bring this up. Now I have this cute little gnome, which I've already stamped out and colored, and I did use some Copic markers to color him up, and I die cut it using the corresponding dies, and I'm gonna put him right here in the bottom left-hand corner, and notice that he's the same colors as my mushroom, so I did use the greens and the reds to kind of keep the same color scheme. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue And then I'm going to press this down. Okay. And then I took the small mushroom die and I went ahead and die cut the shadow layer out of the powdered sugar. And then I used this layering piece and I die cut just out of the strawberry and out of the same pattern paper here. So I'm going to go ahead and ink blend those and if I would have thought about it I also would have ink blended this grass and it didn't even cross my mind so I'm just going to go with what I have. But now that I am thinking about it let's go ahead and ink blend up this small little mushroom. And then we'll just attach the pieces. And then that little mushroom is just going to go, I guess we'll put it somewhere here on the right hand side. I don't want it to extend past the edge because I want this to still to be able to fit in an envelope. So I want to add some flowers to this hillside. So I'm going to be using the Garden to Stamp stamp set and just this little single flower that's down here. And I went ahead and colored them up and die cut them out. And I'm just going to add two little flowers just down to the bottom. And then last but not least, I'm going to take my card base. So remember this is the A2 size card base. And then this mushroom is just gonna go right on top. But before I add it to the top, I'm going to apply glue. And remember, you're only gonna apply glue directly to the mushroom. You're not gonna put glue on the grass. All right, so because when you open this card, it shows this pattern paper here at the bottom. I went ahead and die cut another piece. This is just a solid of the Kiwi pattern paper and it's the same size as this first one and I'm just going to line it up and I will be gluing it and you can see that it actually looks like just a nice little hill in the background. 
and it also hides all of that pattern paper for when the recipient opens it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue, and I think I'm just gonna add the glue to this piece. And then also to the bottom of this mushroom. And the hills don't need to be the same size because you want them to have different, different size. You want it to look like there's different size hills. So just kind of line it up with the bottom. And make sure you turn it to the front just to make sure that nothing's hanging down. And if you do have any overflow, you can always just trim off the back. Now, technically, you probably should have done this before you added the mushroom and the gnome, but I honestly didn't even think about it until afterwards, so. So now you have this clean look on the back, and then you just have another layer of a hill on the front. That completes this card, but if you stay tuned, I'm gonna show you some other cards that I made using the Gnomes to Stamp stamp set. For this card, I used the Grid 2 die set to create the grid background, and I used the Hello Friend paper pad to cut those blue polka dot squares to put in the grid. The balloons are from the 3D pop-up drop-in card base and I just added some pattern paper to match the color of my card. I did use some powdered sugar, green apple, as well as cantaloupe paper on this card and I colored up that gnome to match those colors and I used my Copic markers. And the sentiment is from the Words for Mushrooms set and I will link all of these products in my blog. For this card, I did ink blend that cloud background using the sky ink from the Stamps of Life as well as the cloud border die. So I just cut a piece of the cloud border and I just ink blended to create that background. And this mushrooms are from the Mushrooms to Stamp stamp set and I did not color those instead I used the solids for mushrooms with my ink pads to give them color and again I used the border dies for that little hillside there and I ink blended the hillside up with some kiwi ink and my gnome is colored with some Copic markers as well. For this card, I created a shadow box using the 5x7 shadow box die. I also used the gnomes to stamp for the cute little gnome that's sitting in the front. Colored him up with my Copic markers. The mushrooms are from the mushrooms to stamp stamp set. I also used the solids for mushroom to create those pretty background colors. I did not color that at the mushrooms at all. Instead, I just used the solid stamped images and my inks to give them color. I used the words for mushrooms for the sentiment and the Hey Friend paper pad for the pattern paper in the background. And then the clouds, the sun, the butterfly, and the ladybug, those are all part of the shadow box. And I did use a stitched rectangle to cut out that sentiment. And I have a complete video tutorial on this shadow box card on my YouTube channel, and I will link that below. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more card making inspiration. Bye-bye.